I'm very excited to be headed to the Entourage World premiere to celebrate with my amazing cast and crew. I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> I can't even contain my excitement. <laughs> so I didn't make the cut. You know, the director had other ideas. That's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> hey, it's Tom Cruise, and this is Cruise Reviews Entourage the Movie. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> See this pillow here? It's an anniversary present from Kate when we were in love. It's a picture of my face. So I'm sitting on my face. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are back. And although the stakes are not high, there are copious amounts of tender meat to whet your appetite. You know, I never understood the need for an entourage. I'm a one-man entourage. I am Tantourage! <laughs> I carry my own bags, I do my own stunts, I wipe my own ass, and I'm my own best friend. Picture this. The boys are cruising, no pun intended along the coastline of Ibiza, and Johnny Drama opens his mouth and says, I think I'm gonna have to jack it before we get there. I actually give you an idea of what's to come. Dude bros across the country are eating this film up, yet critics nearly everywhere are drinking large quantities of haterade, neat and undiluted. Speaking of drinking their haterade, David Ehrlich from Time Out New York had his fair share. He said that Entourage can't muster enough conflict for a podcast, let alone a feature. Excuse me, Mr. Ehrlich. No, 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 no. You're being glib. You're being a jerk. You're a jerk. Okay? Have you heard Serial Podcast? It's dripping in conflict. Let me just quote the creator of Entourage, Doug Ellen, by saying, Entourage is a movie for real people, not little bitter guys on Twitter. I don't know why you have to say little. It's really simple. If you didn't like the TV show, you're not going to like the movie. So do yourself a favor and go see Pitch Perfect 2 and wash it down with a large cold glass of Shut the Hell Up! Drew McWeenie from Hitflix broke it down beautifully. Yes, his name is McWeenie. The way that an entourage story works is that they establish what Vinny and his friends want. They challenge them a little bit and then they get what they want. And while I find that unsatisfying, it's the exact reason that fans watch the show and it's why they'll watch the film. You see, Entourage the movie was made for the die-hard fans of the series and no one else. The dude bros who have recurring dreams about attaining beautiful women, expensive toys, and perpetual VIP access. This is not a film you systematically pick apart. No, no, no. This film is pure, unadulterated folly. It gets a pass from criticism. We're not talking about imitation game or theory of everything or remains of the day. We're talking about Entourage. This movie won't win Best Picture nor will it be nominated. But it sure as hell is a lot of fun. Life never gets worse for these characters. It just gets better. And Ari Gold's job is to ensure that it stays that way, to keep the dream alive for the boys, for us. Entourage is the wet dream of dude bros across the planet. It is the Peter Pan syndrome incarnate. See, people inherently want to stay young forever. And Entourage allows people to live out that fantasy of never growing up. <laughs> I'm not Tom Cruise, and thank you for watching this edition of Cruise Reviews Entourage the Movie. Please like, comment, and share my videos, all of them. Please check out my latest video here, and subscribe.